Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Aisha from Bags of Style. In today's video, I wanted to do a comparison between these two beauty right here. This is my coach studio baguette. This is my Rebecca Minkoff oversized ring small bag. <laughs> the name is very long. Anyway guys, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting on? Please do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, Join the family. We talk about everything that's bag related from luxury, from contemporary all the way to luxury. And to my returning subscribers, thank you guys so, 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 so much for the continuing support. And let's get into this comparison video. All right, guys. So as I stated, I wanted to do a comparison video between these two beauty right here, okay? I feel like they look just alike, so they're given almost the same vibe. So I just thought it would be a fun video just to compare these two, okay? So like, I'm gonna start with my coach. My beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Coach Studio Baguette, okay? This beauty, I picked it up the first day it was released, like <laughs> before I even came on the website. I love this bag, okay? This bag is made with actual patent leather. So, guys, quick fact. You guys know this is the only, I think this is the only patent leather bag that I actually have in my collection. If I'm not lying. Yes, guys, I think this is the only patent leather bag that I have in my collection, okay, guys? I love it. I just think it's so cute. Anyway, like I stated, this is made in patent leather. The measurement from here to here in length is 7 and 3 fourth. Height from here all the way up here is 4 and 1 fourth. And the width from here to here is actually 2 and a half. okay? This bag does come. This is how you open it. Let me you squeeze it and you pull it, okay? It does come with a strap. So this strap is actually, let's see. Sorry. Do, 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 do. It actually, I think it's come with two strap. Yes. It comes with the top handle one, which you can put right here. Uh, let me see. Okay. So it does come with this beauty right here. So this is actually just the, um, the detachable handle. As you guys can see, let me put it this way. So this actually is eight and eight and a half inches drop, okay? If you just wanna use that as under your arm. So you have that. And then you also have the long strap, the crossbody or the shoulder strap. This one is 19 inches drop, okay? And it is adjustable and detachable. The, this one is not adjustable, but it is detachable, okay? So those are the two handles that it comes with. And as you guys can see, on the inside, it's just this beautiful, beautiful, I think this is a microfiber interior. So you do have a pocket up here and then you have this pocket right here. And then on the side, if you guys can see, it does, actually this, the side is leather made, which is crazy. Um, it does come with a, a like a six, six credit card slot. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it has a six credit card slot against this panel right here and then you have the opening right here with the microfiber cloth and then you have one one um pocket here and then you have a pocket on the back right here okay so no feet on the bottom obviously because of how the bag is made but that's really it that's all is it has on here on this beautiful beautiful bag and you guys already know it does come with a key actually a functioning key as you guys can see, it's inside right there. And then this is actually a functioning lock as well. So you can actually lock this and if it's a function lock and key. So if you want to lock your bag, you can actually lock your bag. That's another great feature. Okay. So that's the coach studio baguette. Now let's get into this beauty right here. So you guys actually did help me choose this bag. <laughs> I did put a poll if I should get the green or the purple because I wasn't sure if I wanted the pink because I have too much pink. So a lot of the majority of the vote was to go with the purple. So I, I ended up buying the purple. So this is my Rebecca Minkoff. This is the only Rebecca Minkoff bag that I have in my collection. Because before this bag, I really didn't like none of her other bag. Let me don't lie to you. Um, I've, I've heard about her a lot of times, but just the design, mm -mm, if, like, no, I wasn't for it. But when this bag came out, you guys knew that I did a video that says bags that I was admiring under a certain price range. If you guys want to check out that video, it's on my video library, okay? So I did see this beauty and I just thought it was so beautiful. It's not about the bag itself. It's about this 
ring oversized ring right here i think that's what she calls it i just think it was so different and so beautiful that i had to pick up this bag the bag itself is not anything extraordinary i mean as you guys can see a lot of brands actually make this size this type of design bag but it's just this feature right here i just thought it was just so beautiful and so different so i had to pick it up so anyway sorry that's my little rant on this bag um so this bag is actually made with calf leather guys it's the smooth if you guys can see let me bring it close up see how smooth it is it's a smooth calf leather like this will easily get scratched my job i haven't i have not even used the bag and you can see like just like a little air airline type of scratch but it's oh i wiped it off <laughs> okay <laughs> that's good so it's a smooth calf leather this bag from here all the way to here in length is measured at 8.3 inches from down here to here in height is 5.5 inches and the width from here to here is 1.5 inches okay it only come with this one strap right here which is very unfortunate but this strap is 8.5 inches which is eight and a half it's basically like the small coach right here so they both have the same size when it comes to that strap it doesn't come with any other strap except this so obviously they did make it for the baguette style kind of situation um when you open it on the inside you open it like this you turn the lock isn't that so cute then you open it like that so that's how we look it does come with the the rebecca the rebecca minkoff um dust bag let me take that out then let me take this tissue out and let's check the inside okay guys so on the inside it's actually guys one thing about her is on the inside it's actually made with leather guys yeah <laughs> it's not it's made with leather guys which is really uh, it's a nice smooth this leather feels so luxurious guys so it is made with leather it's just this pocket right here there isn't a pocket on the back at all it's so it's just this one big old just just the space right here that's all you get with this bag and you also get a back pocket right here where it's also made with leather you guys can see it it's all the, it's also lined with leather i'm sorry not made with leather so it's lined with leather as well on the back and that's all it comes with there isn't any feet on the bottom obviously because of how it's made in let me sorry guys let me close this back up so that's really what this bag have it does have the beautiful beautiful antique gold i just think it's i love bags with antique gold and it, and this one actually is a ton lock closure and like i told you guys showed you the pictures i uh, not the picture but the pocket it does have the one slip pocket here and then the one open space and that's all this bag actually have okay guys so now let's do what's the similarity and the differences between these two beauty excuse me guys so one of the biggest difference is that the leather is different so the coach so they do have the this bag actually when i bought this they didn't have in the regular leather because it had just came out but they do actually have this in um i think glove tan leather or something um they do have in regular leather but this is the patent leather and this is just the calf leather so that's the difference right here another thing is that coach does include a longer crossbody uh, um, um, strap if you're interested in that so that you can wear it as a shoulder bag or as a crossbody so it does have that convenience of you wearing it that way okay where the rebecca minkoff is more like under your shoulder type of bag but it doesn't give you the crossbody option or anything like that so keep that in mind another thing also if you guys look the rebecca minkoff is a little bit more taller than the coach so you guys can see because the rebecca minkoff the height is 5.5 where the coach is four and one fourth and then also the length the rebecca minkoff is a little bit taller um longer in length as well because as you guys let me see if you guys can see it it's a little bit taller um longer as well because this is 8.5 while this is 7.3 fourth it's not that much of a difference but this is longer and taller but when it comes to the inside this has more space because this is two two and a half while this is one and a half and as you guys can see on the inside like i told you guys the coach does have this big pocket right here also have this pocket over here 
and it has a credit card slot spot on the side and it has a pocket right here and it has a back pocket right here so keep that in mind so the coach actually does have that option where the rebecca minkoff one is more only on just this pocket that's it so it limited so if you this is really like a baguette style it doesn't even have an extra like it doesn't have even have like an internal pocket like a smaller one it's just the space right here so if you want something big this might not be the bag for you neither one of this a uh, bag for you if you want something big i think these are more like little like bags like a um quick errand bag or date night bag that kind of situation so that's what these bags are meant for they're not meant for your everyday carry the whole kitchen sink with you that's not going to work in either one of these bags okay um in regards to price wise the crazy part the coach is a little bit more expensive than the rebecca minkoff i think like almost 50 like 50 dollars difference uh coach right now this is at 350 rebecca minkoff is 298 but currently if you guys are interested in it i'm not sure how long the sales is going for but it is it has like 20 dollars off so it's like 278 if you guys are interested in getting this bag okay um, but the coach if currently if you want this is 350 but coach we all know one sells or if it doesn't sell it will go to the outlet so keep that in mind for both of these bags okay guys so now another thing also that i wanted to point out as you guys see you see when i open it because this is patent leather it, it looked like it has like the little crinkle nest you see look can you guys see it i hope it does show on there you see kind of have like a look like little creasing on there and it look kind of like it's already wrinkled and everything on the side but then when you close it it looks smooth again so keep that in mind but it does still kind of have like a line on there so that's something to keep in mind if you want the patent leather and another thing with the patent leather guys you're gonna have to have a cloth because you're gonna have to wipe this this is a fingerprint magnet okay um i mean i'm happy i bought it and I, I didn't spend so much money when i bought it so i was okay with it but this is a fingerprint magnet and i think that's why i haven't really bought too much of patent leather i think i do have maybe i think maybe one or two patent leather but uh, it's in the louis vuitton the venice leather which is also patent leather but i think i think i do have that i'm just thinking about all the bags that i have but yeah so keep that in mind if you're going to get this but the other difference obviously this is this actually have fu a functioning lock and key so if you want to um lock your bag and noise secure you can actually do that you just take the key right here you lock it and then you're good to go so this does have more of a security wise because you can lock it but beside that honestly there's really not that much difference on this bag like literally they both look just alike <laughs> they both kind of even have the same type of antique type of gold as a hardware so those are the similarity and the differences now let's do quickly what fit in this beauty right here okay so with this bag if i'm going to be using bag this bag i'm i don't know if i will use my pochette matisse on it and not my pochette matisse but my uh my um mini percent i don't know because as you can see if you use that like literally the space is done but let's see let's just make it fun guys all right let's stuff this like this so i just have the 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 mini percent my key clay in a card case let's see oh guys it fit it's a little heavy though <laughs> Uh, it's not that heavy when you hold it on the handle but when you hold it like this it's a little heavy and also keep in mind as well guys this um you can actually use both of these as clutches okay because you can take off the, the the handle and the great thing about the rebecca minkoff sorry guys is that this actually go inside i'm not sure the coach one i don't think this really not nah, this doesn't really go inside but you can use both as a clutch so keep that in mind if you're interested in turning this into a multi-functional type of bag instead of just a shoulder bag okay so those did fit in there so that's a that's a, that's a nice surprise for the rebecca minkoff now let's see if these will fit in here i think they should but because this is not that okay and both of them um, um while i'm doing this both of them do fit my 14 pro max phone so keep that in mind as well all right oh okay 
nice surprise. <laughs> so everything, if everything that fit in here actually fit in this as well. So that's a good, that's a good thing. Even though this is taller and white and this is taller and longer, <laughs> this is wider, but they both fit the same amount of things. So that's a really good really good really good move and they both kind of feel the same when it comes to like um weight after you've actually stuffed it in okay so that's basically what fit in this two beauty right here would i recommend them absolutely i would recommend both guys um this one honestly i'm not sure if i'm i don't really care for patent leather i mean i'm happy that i, I was able to actually have the patent leather in this to try it i don't know if this is one of the bags that i might sell maybe later on I got to think about it. Okay. But I do love the fact that I was able to try, but I am actually, if I do sell this one, I will actually get this same design, but in just a regular letter, not the patent letter, but just a regular letter. Um, I think like I saw a color on Macy's and I just thought it was so stinking beautiful. So I might get that instead of the patent letter and sell this patent letter. But would I recommend it? Absolutely. I would recommend both of these bags. I think both of these bags are just so simply beautiful and for the price for both under 500 guys come on it's a still for both okay they're both very well made um even with the patent leather one i think it's very well made you guys know if you've been around my channel you know my love for coach like coach was my very first bag that i would say designer bag it, even though it's considered contemporary but in my young age i thought i was doing it with my coach bag <laughs> um but yeah i would definitely recommend both um i think both are great for their prices this rebecca minkoff actually really did surprise me guys i'm not even gonna lie this bag just feels so good i'm so happy i actually add this but another um kind of like a negative this bag doesn't stand on its own because this buckle right here is so heavy that it always falls like this, fit, like literally it falls like this when you try to put it to stand. So you probably might need to hang it up or put it next to a bag that will kind of hold it so it doesn't fall. Because this, this, this design mechanism right here is very, 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 very heavy. So keep that in mind that this bag will not stand. You see, like, let me show you. See how the coach is standing and you see how this just automatically fell because this right here is so heavy. So if you're looking at picking up this bag, remember to kind of put this on the stand or next to a bag that can hold it because it will fall over. Anyway, guys, that was the video for today. See you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.